welcome back. This is Mishi and Amber from Groove Roo Dance, and we're here for part two of six. Last week we talked about why launch Groove Roo 2.0, and this week we'd like to share a little bit about what that will look like, especially for those of you interested in our teacher training program. Yeah, that's right. So don't worry for all of you baby wearing lovers out there. Baby wearing dance is still going to be an integral part of our program, but we're just going to expand on that and go all the way from conception through to the first two years of life. There's lots of research out there that says that a baby's first thousand days of life, which is pretty much from conception through the first two years, has the most direct impact on the baby's physical, social, and emotional development throughout their lifetime. So we just wanted our program to be directly in line with the baby's first thousand days. Yeah, and starting right from the beginning, you know, the biggest inhibitor to a baby's development is maternal stress and anxiety. So. We are their direct environment, our baby's direct environment, so we have to feel joy and happiness and love in our bodies, and we can transmit that to our babies. For me, that's dance. For us, that's dance. Yes, and um, you know, dancing is how we met, and so dancing is probably the best way that I can show my love and joy with my partner. And so by creating that connection with each other and that uh, by cultivating that bond of love and joy with each other, we directly impact our baby because as she is the environment for, the ch for our child, so I am the environment for her. So it just creates that synergy of love and joy between the three of us. Yeah, so what does this all look like for our teacher training? So um, we're still going to include uh, baby wearing and dance education as, as the main part of our program, but we're going to adapt that to these di different stages of development. So, because um, that changes for the baby's development, for the mother's growth as the baby grows and her uh, recovery process, and then how the interaction happens between the two of us, or for three us. Us, or the three of us, for um, mother and father, partners, parents, and baby together. Yes, and there's something we like to say in our class. Um, your baby doesn't care uh, how you dance. Your baby only cares how you're feeling when you dance. So by creating a feeling of love and joy and feeling the resonance and connection with each other, our baby can feel that love or joy, whether the baby is in, inside of us or directly on us outside of us. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what we'd like to share because if, if I feel joy in my heart, I can share that with my baby, I can share it with my partner, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can share it with the whole world. That's right. So if you believe in this vision and you want to spread more joy in your community and, and around the world, you know, click on the link um, for our teacher training program and fill out our application and we will uh, keep you updated when our enrollment opens. All right. And next week, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the heart's intelligence and why it's important for us to dance heart to heart. Mm -hmm. So until then, this is remember in Groove Roo, Rhythm is your birthright. Dancing is your calling. Do it with your family. Until next time, see you later. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Baby, baby.